right, it looks like we have a new update coming for a C2 and a G2 near you. Let's check it out real quick. The software file version number is 13.30.50, which is a little weird. But let's check out what comes with the update real quick. So I scroll down. First thing I see is one dot improvement. And then right below that, Welcome into the video, welcome into the channel. Hope everyone is doing well out there. No, today we're not in front of the 77 inch LG C2. We're actually in front of the 65 inch LG C2, which is our bedroom TV. And the reason why I'm filming on this TV today is because I'm gonna be doing a little bit of a science experiment today on this TV. Now, before I kick things off, let me kind of explain what's going on here. Now, as you can tell from the title of the video, as well as the intro, LG is currently pushing out a new software update to their C2 and G2 lineup. And this is not your run of the mill software update with things like improvements they've made and, and fixing minor bugs in software. No, this is a big update because we're getting a new WebOS upgrade with this TV. And that brings both excitement and anxiety for me because as I've noted in a recent video that I've done, I talked about why I prefer to stay on WebOS 22 as opposed to moving to the WebOS that came with the C3 and G3 and what's to come with the C4, G4, etc. So I prefer to install this update manually on day one on the bedroom TV because if it goes in and it makes a major change to the OS, which includes a major change to service menu access and what you can do in the service menu, that's okay with me. I just don't want it to happen on the game room TV because I have it dialed in exactly how I want it and I don't want the new service menu to potentially interfere with my ability to enjoy my display the way I want to. So with that being said, the first thing I do in these videos is I go ahead and check and see if the update's been pushed to my TV over the air. So let's do that now. Press and hold that settings button on the remote. Let's go over to support, software update, and I'm currently on 04.40.93. Let's go ahead and click check for updates. And as expected, no updates found since this is day one at the time of filming. But no worries there. I have this USB drive right here loaded up with the new software update file. I'm gonna go ahead and get this USB drive plugged into the back of the TV and get this update started. All right, got the USB plugged in on the back of the TV. If you're manually updating your TV for the first time, it doesn't really matter what uh, USB port on the back of your TV you use. Let me preface this before I click yes on why I have some trepidation on doing this, especially on the game room display. And that's because, as I've mentioned in a recent video of mine, I am wanting to stay on WebOS 22 all because of how the service menu is set up. And the reason why the service menu setup is so important on the C2 and the G2 versus the C3 and G3 and so forth is because you have access to certain options in the service menu to completely turn off something called ASBL dimming. Now, one of the things like on my LG C3, when I go into the service menu on that TV, it looks completely different. And while the method to get there is the exact same, you no longer have quick access to those options to disable, to turn off ASBL dimming. So this is why I'm actually doing this on the bedroom TV, because I don't really care if it eliminates my ability to go into the service menu and turn off the dimming because I don't even have that set up on this display. So I'm going to go ahead and click yes to get this upgrade started. And what I normally do in these videos is I will cut back in and let you know if I have any problems during installation. That way you know you know what to be prepared for. And if I don't encounter any problems during installation, I'll come back on the other side and I'll do a quick demo and we'll check out what has come with this update, what's new and all that. And of course, to conclude the video, I will go ahead and go through all the details of what comes with the new update, which is software update. 13.30.50. All right, I'm back. Uh, the update finished installing. And once you're done completing the user agreement checkboxes, whatever you're going to select there, you're going to be greeted with this screen right here. So let's just go ahead and see what happens from here. You could see there's now three things in the middle. I could click learn more or close. Yeah, I'm going to go with close. 
All right, here we are at the WebOS home screen. I do own an LG C3 as my desktop monitor. I've seen this home screen menu once when I first set up the display, and after that, I've never really gone back to it. So if this looks completely different than what's normally been on the C2 and G2, you can leave me a comment below and let me know. But let me grab the remote. All right, I had to turn off the light there. Too many glares on this uh, glossy panel. I do see the under the trending now, uh, it has my last input used, which is the Apple TV 4K. Interestingly enough, it did rename that for me. Uh, but as we kind of scroll around here, let's just check out how things look. And I will say right off the bat, um, this experience feels pretty smooth, just kind of navigating this menu right here. But for those of you who've had the C2 or the G2 for a long time, and you've only used the WebOS apps here on the home screen, Talk to me in the comments section about your experience. How different th does this look? Does this look more organized? Do you like this better? Let's click this and see what that is. Okay. So we have some gaming things here. Dead by Daylight, Final Fantasy, oh, Cyberpunk, that's cool. But all right, now that we're back here on the home screen, let's check out another one, sports. All right, so here in the sports tab, it looks like we have football, soccer, baseball, basketball. Okay, it looks like it wants you to pick out a team or player from each league. You can obtain more information about your selected team or player. So, you know, just for the hell of it, let's just pick one. We'll pick Oklahoma City Thunder. And down here it has their actual game schedule and it looks like a way to watch them as well. Oh, and look at this. So it shows right here for today, March 27th, that's the time of filming this video. It shows that they're playing the Houston Rockets. And from what I can, from what I understand by this, it says you can watch this game on Prime Video. If that's really the case, that's really cool. And you can see their upcoming schedule as well. So as we navigate, it looks like the Thunder are playing the Celtics on April 3rd. There's no TV listed on that one, but looking at this one right here, the Thunder play the 76ers on April 2nd, and it looks like you can watch this on Prime Video and Max. So really cool stuff here. Again, if I didn't have an Apple TV 4K, this would be something that would be right up my alley, just watching various games and you know knowing the channels they're playing on, etc. I even see full highlights down here from uh, a recent game. All right, back here on the home screen, Home Hub, have no idea what this is. Let's click on it. Okay, so this takes you to that menu where you can go in here and you make your basic settings. Okay, so I think any of you that own an LG TV are probably pretty familiar with this right here. Click on the three dots. You can edit input still, universal control, edit things. Okay. All right, besides the home screen updates for the latest LG update here, Probably the next biggest thing you're gonna notice then the change in your C2 and G2 is when you just tap the settings button on your remote and the little side panel menu right here. So uh, you, as you're well aware, the C2 and the G2 has one that's just one long continuous line of items. It can be kind of finicky to edit and add different options in there. One thing that I do like about the C3 versus my C2 is this little quick menu here. It's laid out much better. So as you can see here, you have your picture modes you can scroll, uh, your sound out, multi-view. Multi-view, that's a topic for another video. If you've been following my channel, boy, this is such a pointless uh, feature, if you want to even call it that, the way it's set up. But anyway, then you have uh, the pixel brightness, a little quick menu option here, game optimizer, here's your sound mode. Uh, screen off. This is a very convenient one, especially if it's a bedroom TV for your setup. Uh, you have a sleep timer right here. Another benefit. Some of my early day videos here on the channel um, was how to create a sleep timer on an LG C2 and all the hoops you'd have to jump through to get there going through the menu system. It was nice to have a quick menu option on the C2 and this is another nice little option right here. Eye care mode. Come on. In music discovery, never used it, have no idea what this means, but uh, if you want to edit things, you know, you click the little pencil up here and, you know, just, just get after it. So, uh, but just wanted to kind of show a couple of things off here with the new stuff on the, on the uh, OS upgrade. So there you go. All right, now that I've had a minute to kind of navigate this around a little bit and check out some of these tabs and, and what things look like, 
I think this is I think this is something I'm going to do in a separate video, which is a walkthrough of, of what's going on here compared to WebOS 22, because this video is just the the latest LG update video installation and talking about details. So, all right. So next up here in this video is I'm going to go ahead and talk about all the specific details of what comes with LG update. All right. Before I dive into this, a little bit of technical difficulties during filming today. So. Uh, one of my clips just got cut off a little bit at the end, but I'm sure you all were okay with that to get to the part where I actually talk about what comes with the update or at least summarize it for you. So let's do that now. Software update 13.30.50. Let's dig in. First thing we got to talk about is you get improvement. I appreciate it, LG. Improvement. But after that, things get a little bit more interesting. So now we're going to talk about new web os in this video i showed you a little bit around the home screen uh, clicked on a tab or two for those of you that typically utilize the web os apps on the home screen for your content consumption leave me a comment below and let me know what you think uh, based on what you're seeing as far as the layout changes uh, after that we got edit the home screen so you have a little bit more flexibility editing things like recommended apps and video content that's going to be tailored to you for somebody like myself i actually would turn all of that off for me i don't need to see all that stuff because i utilize an apple tv 4k but if this is your only source for content consumption these could be very helpful for you as they're going to have more tailored content for you so next up is new home you get a new home. Congratulations. Um, pretty cool, right? After that, enriched functionality for music, gaming, and home office. If you're a gamer that utilizes the streaming services on TVs, I know Samsung has something like this as well, leave me a comment and let, let me know how that goes for you. Um, I'd be really curious to see how functional gaming truly is streaming in that sort of manner. But it seems like you'd have to have an excellent internet connection. Otherwise, you'd probably face uh, interruptions all the time. But let me know how it works out for you. And it says settings at a glance. There you go. Helpful tips. So, you know, don't play leapfrog with a unicorn, you know, stuff like that. And uh, enhance security because we need to be more secure. This is a summarization of what all I read on that page. There's a lot more details on the actual uh, LG site. It's really centered mostly around the sort of thing you're going to encounter after the update finishes, which is just like when you first purchased the TV and you had to click those check boxes for the user agreement and, and the privacy policy and all that, whatever. You're going to have to go through that again like you're buying a new TV. But once you get past that, smooth sailing. But before we get out of here, I do want to tease the next video because I've already started filming it. And the next video topic that pertains to this particular update for the C2 is going to be talking solely about its impact on the service menu. And this was something that I was very curious to see how it would play out. I'm going to go ahead and leave that there. I'm going to have a new video coming out showing you exactly a before and after what I encountered. So if you're interested in it all to see how that changed for you and you're going to hold off doing this update until you see those results, be sure to be subscribed. If you're not subscribed, click that subscribe button and click the bell because you're not going to want to miss that video. But if you did enjoy the content today, consider hitting that like button. It gets my videos circulated out to more people. And again, if you're not subscribed yet, I do appreciate you watching the video. Consider hitting that subscribe button. Consider hitting that bell notification so you don't miss my future uploads. But with all that being said, until the next one.